everybody. I know I look crazy, but welcome to Vlogmas Day 24, okay? <laughs> 24, how freaking crazy I'm eating. Oh, <laughs> I just dropped it down my shirt. Mm -mm -mm. I went to Pilates this morning, and then I went to the good old dollar store <laughs> to let me get some stuff for this weekend. The first thing that I got, so exciting. I got this plastic container to put Millie's dog food in when I go home for the weekend. Riveting stuff. And then I got a little bag for my Nana's present. And when I got a little pack of three Christmas cards. Honestly, it doesn't get more exciting than that. I really don't. I don't think it gets more exciting than this, you know? I'm feeling very tired tonight because for the first time, literally, Basically, since I've had Millie, she barked in her crate last night to get out, which she never does, especially at nighttime. Like, usually she knows, like, she's going to bed, it's bedtime. But last night, she decided to just bark at me for probably, like, 30 minutes on and off, and I was like, holy crap, this is quite annoying. So many of you have had that happen with your puppies before, where they were, like, perfectly fine with the crate, they liked the crate, and then all of a sudden they started going backwards and having these kind of like temperament things with it, let me know. I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Also, I can't stop eating these. They're just so good. But I'm gonna take some lunch right now because your girl is starving. I'm probably gonna take Millie. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm choking. I'm probably gonna take Millie for a long walk later because this girl's got some energy today. It's literally absurd. <laughs> I just got back from taking Millie on a long ass walk. We literally went for so far and she played fetch. So she's pooped now, which is good because that dog has endless energy, but overexposed. I'm excited because I might have ordered <laughs> a few things from Abercrombie because I needed some, well, did I need it? No, um, I wanted some new stuff to wear over the holidays. And I just, I watched and honestly, I was influenced I watched Abercrombie Hall on someone's story and I was like, I also need those Abercrombie items. <laughs> and now here we are. I also realized that I look really tired and pale and my eyes look really dark and red. My eyes are so red. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and then we'll be back and then I'll film it because my eyes are bothering me in this. Why do I look so tired? <laughs> Hi! So I touched up my makeup, obviously, a little bit. So I'm looking a little bit better. It's still, you know, this outfit's a little questionable, but it's fine. <laughs> and my hair. I'm just having a rough go today, you know? The effort level is low since we're almost at the holidays. Like, I'm reaching my like end of year slump where I give up until New Year's and then I get a huge thing of motivation. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyways, let's go through the items that I picked up because I'm really excited. I'm gonna try on all these pieces for you all, but I thought I would do like an unboxing haul for fun because I haven't done one of these in like forever. So first up, I got this sweater. This is so cute. Um, I just have like the name. I'm just gonna link everything down below. But it's this, it's, it, oh my God, this is soft. This is like the softest material. It's like a brown, but it's got like a pinkish undertone. It reminds me of like a clay color. This is one of the soft Abercrombie and F collection. It's almost like it's saying soft AF, but it's not. I see what they're doing there. I got this one in extra small and it's like a little polo button up. I just love simple sweaters like this with jeans. It's just like the comfiest outfits and they always look cute. And I love the little polo style. 
I went a little bit crazy because I did have, they were having like 15% off or something like that. And then I also got to like add on, um, this girl like on Instagram, Vivian, had a 20% off code. So it like combined, so it was 35% off. So I went a little bit nuts. But I picked up this, so cute. And then I got another sweatshirt. This one doesn't have buttons, so it's like a similar idea with the like soft fabric, same fabric. It's also in an extra small, but this one is just like a v-neck kind of collar. And it has like this. So cute. Like this is just stuff that I would love to wear like every day. You know what I mean? Like these kind of items just speak my language. They know they know me and I know them. We know each other. Then what else did I get? Okay, I got a skirt and a is this a bodysuit or a so I can't remember. I wanted to wear them together. I thought about wearing this on Christmas. It's kind of like my plan. So we'll see. I believe this is a skort too, which makes that a little bit nicer. So it looks like this from Abercrombie. I believe this is a skort. It is perfect. That's what I was hoping for. So it's like this little plaid skort. It's got like the maroon, the black, and then the cream. It has a zipper on the side and it has pockets in the front. And obviously it has built in shorts, which is really nice because it does look like it's quite short. So it's always nice when you have like the built in shorts and then to go with it i got this which is like a bodysuit i believe yeah so it's just this little like form fitting body suit and it's ribbed it looks like it'll like literally just hug you in and be so flattering it has like little sweetheart neckline so nice it's like a very thick knit too so you'll be warm in this it's not like a thin little thing or anything like that and i'm just obsessed I love that. I want to wear this on Christmas for sure. Do they go? I feel like it goes. With like black leotards and like little boots. So cute. I'm literally obsessed. What should I do next? Okay, I got another pair of denim. I love Abercrombie's denim and I already had a pair of the dad jeans. So I thought I would pick up another one. I'm always trying to find like the perfect denim. You know, like I always want them to fit right. And I'm, I'm very hit or miss. Like sometimes it works out for me and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm hoping this will be a win. These are the dad jeans and they're in high rise. I got them in a 23 short. Um, so they, this is the one with like the crisscross like front detailing, which I always thought was really cool. And I know a lot of other brands do this style, but those brands don't fit me properly. Like I've tried their denim before and even like their small size is like huge on me. So I'm hoping that Abercrombie is gonna come through like they do a lot of the time and these are gonna fit really well. They look like they will. These are a high rise denim. They're kind of like a straight leg and they're just in like that light wash with no rips in them. But they obviously have the cool like hem up front. So I'm really excited to see how these fit and try them on. Hopefully on the try on clip, you guys will see that these fit really well because I'm really hoping they will. And then here's another option for <laughs> Christmas, possibly. So this is like a little turtleneck sweater dress. So freaking cute. I got this one in petite too, I believe. Yeah, so I got this one in extra small petite, and so it's a little bit shorter, and it's just this gray, like, ribbed sweater dress. Super soft. I got the extra small petite because I've tried the double X petite before, and it's, like, super short, like, ridiculously short. So my thought process was that, like, maybe extra small petite won't be, like, as ridiculously short. <laughs> Here's hoping. But this looks so nice. So excited to try that one on as well with like leotards and boots. This one's so soft too. Is this from their Soft AF? Soft and AF Indian? I can't even speak. No, it's not. But so soft it should be. Then I got a crew neck because I'm obsessed with like crew neck sweatshirts. Like graphic ones with denim and sneakers. Like I love it all year. All year. Or denim shorts in the summer and a, and a crew neck sweatshirt. Like, they, you can never go wrong. And this one I thought was really cute. So I got an extra small. It says Aspen, Colorado on it. And it has two skis. I just thought it was really cute. I love that the Aspen is in green. I love a gray sweatshirt. This will definitely get a ton of wear. Okay, like, a ridiculous ton of wear. I wear with leggings. It's oversized. I'm obsessed. I love it. I just want a collection of like, I want like 20 beautiful graphic sweatshirts because honestly, I'd be happy just wearing those all the time. 
Okay, I think that this one, don't quote me, but I think this is one of their sweatshirts they advertise that you can wear it with leggings, which I do wear leggings quite often. So they sold me. I was like, ooh, covers my butt. Perfect. Okay, so this one's in an extra small and it's this brown turtleneck sweatshirt that obviously is like a wee bit longer. It's got a little split hem on the bottom. And like they said, you can wear it with leggings, which we love to see, love to see it. Wear it with leggings, sold. <laughs> so yeah, this one's really soft too. That's, ugh. Abercrombie has like the best quality. I love buying stuff for myself and I love buying stuff for Aiden from there. I was actually thinking that because I got all of his Christmas presents already, obviously. And I was thinking, why didn't I think to shop at Abercrombie? I don't know. Sometimes I just forget about it. Like it like it spaced me and I bought him stuff from Zara instead. But like Abercrombie for guys, oof! They know what they're doing, okay? This stuff is freaking cute. But anyways, this one's really nice. I think I'm gonna wear it with like my leather leggings. And that'll be a vibe. And then last up, I had to get it. I just had to. It's a lounge set. <laughs> but this one looks so soft and comfy. Like I was like, no, you don't understand. I need it in my life. So these are the sweatpants. They're pink and they're fuzzy. They didn't have the other colors. They also came in like a cream, like a cream and then like a brownish color. Both of those were sold out, but it's okay. You know what? Pink is where it's at. So these are pink and they're fuzzy and they're like a jogger style pants. I got the pants in an extra small because sometimes extra extra is too tiny and not comfy. And they're like high waisted. They have like little drawstring, they have pockets. They're fuzzy, did I mention that? And then of course, a matching sweatshirt. I had to. I literally, I couldn't say no. Ugh, and I have this giant box. Okay, and then the sweatshirt is just this really cute, like a v-neck, lounge, fuzzy sweatshirt to wear together, so cute. Oh my god, I want to wear it now. I was gonna bring home my plaid pajamas for Christmas, which I still feel like I should, but then I'm like, do I pack this too? I guess not. But like, it's so cozy, I kind of want to. Oh my god. I'm gonna try all this stuff on for the try-on clips, but I think this might be like one of my favorite hauls yet because it's literally all stuff that I think I would wear constantly, and that's something that I really need to start doing with my purchases is buying purchases like not trying to follow the trends so much I think that's kind of like my 2022 goal with fashion is just to buy things that I will actually wear all the time and that and not buy things just because it's like a trend because like the trend pieces and honestly it's not very like eco-friendly either because they go out of style you don't want to wear them anymore or you're just buying something that's out of your comfort zone that you still won't wear and it's just not good for the environment it's not good for your wallet you know you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try these on and I'm gonna sit my tea now that's been sitting here. Ah, cheers. Now I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready to go home for Christmas. I'm ready. I just gotta plan on my outfits. All right guys, it's a bit later, obviously. I am having my dinner. I made this yesterday and it was so bomb. It's like rice, fish, and like roasted veggies. Also, <laughs> Millie's officially grown into her big girl collar. I wrote her another one, but it's lost in the mail and I've emailed the company. It's the same company I got this one from. And this one came super fast. So I emailed them being like, it's lost. And I'm like waiting to hear back from someone. I also messaged them on Instagram, but I'm excited for this one as well. I also ordered her, the other one I ordered her is like pink and purple, so it's a bit girlier, but I do like the green as well. But I'm eating this. I'm literally in the comfy set because I could, I couldn't not, okay? It's so soft. I'm gonna be wearing this for the next while. I'm probably gonna be wearing this in tomorrow's vlog as well because it's so comfortable and cozy and I don't wanna take it off. Also, another update. I finished this. It was a Hallmark good. You know, that's how I would describe it. Definitely like PG-13, could be a family channel movie. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't it for me, okay? I like a little bit more steam. So I'm excited, so I'm moving on to this, which is Nora Roberts, The Awakening, The Dragonheart Legacy, book number one. And I've read Nora Roberts' books before. She adds the spice that I like into the books. Because I remember I read one of hers a long time ago. It was my first feel for adult romance, and I was like, 
holy crap, what am I reading? <laughs> I literally have that memory like ingrained in my mind because I never had read anything like that before because I went from like teen books to reading a Nora Roberts romance and I was like, oh. People write books like this. So yeah, I'm excited about this one because I love that it's fantasy mixed with hopefully the romance aspect and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a nice little um, enemies to lovers probably because from what I read a bit they don't really like each other in the beginning i'm pretty sure hopefully we love that we love we love enemies to lovers it's like my favorite trope is that the word i feel like that's not a word <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna start this tonight quite excited about it oh i just read something <laughs> ah, woo! so i thought i would update you all on that i need to also just like think of some books. I need to write out, I wanna make some more lists. Do you guys make lists? I feel like, also why do I have a list when I say that? Lists, oh my God, lists. Oh my God, I think I have a list. I can't say it, list. It's a list. I like to make lists. Ooh, already done. Well, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, I wanna make more of those, right? I wanna write more lists so that I can just do that, you know? <laughs> I need to like brainstorm. I'm gonna be doing a lot of brainstorming between Christmas and New Year's when y'all see me again. I'm gonna be just thinking, okay? Video ideas, productivity, what I wanna read, fitness goals. It's all going down, even though the world may be shut down again. <laughs> I'll still even put that out there because like I'm hoping it won't be, but you know, I, I also, I used to be quite optimistic and now I'm becoming quite pessimistic with this situation. I don't want to be like that, but it's hard when you keep trying to be optimistic for two years and it doesn't get you very far. <laughs> but anyways, enough about that. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna start tonight and hopefully little mill dog over there doesn't park in her crate again like she did last night because it kind of ruined my reading in bed session when you have a dog barking at you from inside their crate. Tomorrow I need to pack. So Vlogmas Day 25 is basically gonna be just me heading home for the holidays. I need to pack my suitcase. I need to just organize myself and pack my car. I wanna pack most of my stuff, hopefully the night before, just so that most of my things will be in there. I'm kind of already packed Millie stuff. Like I feel like she's pretty good to go. Um, so I just gotta figure out all that jazz tomorrow. It's gonna be a busy packing day because then the next day is Christmas Eve and we're driving home for the holidays. We're driving home nice and early. I'm gonna be leaving at like 9 a.m. probably and hopefully not getting stuck in a whole lot of traffic because that would be rather sad. All right guys, I'm going to be heading to bed literally in the next 30 minutes. But I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 24. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. There's only one day left of Vlogmas. Oh my God. Merry Christmas Eve when you're watching this. And I'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 25.